Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for July 27th. Test me in this, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven, and pour out so much blessing that there will not be enough room to store it. Malachi 3.10 Here's what God is saying in this verse. My dear child, I still have floodgates in heaven, and they are still in service. The locks open as easily as before, and the hinges have not grown rusty. In fact, I would rather throw them open to pour out the blessings than hold them back. I opened them for Moses, and the sea parted. I opened them for Joshua, and the Jordan River stopped. I opened them for Gideon, and the armies of the enemy fled. And I will open them for you if you will only let me. On my side of the floodgates, heaven is still the same rich storehouse as always. The fountains and streams still overflow, and the treasure rooms are still bursting with gifts. The need is not on my side, but on yours. I am waiting for you to test me in this, but you must first meet the conditions I have set to bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, Malachi 3.10, and thereby give me the opportunity to act. Selected. I will never forget my mother's concise paraphrase of Malachi 3.10. The actual Bible text begins with the words, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, and ends with, I will pour out so much blessing that, in effect, you will be embarrassed over your lack of space to receive it. But my mother's paraphrase is this, give all he asks and take all he promises. Samuel Dickey Gordon God's ability to perform is far beyond our prayers, even our greatest prayers. I've recently been thinking of some of the requests I have made of him innumerable times in my prayers. And what have I requested? I have asked for a cupful while he owns the entire ocean. I have asked for one simple ray of light while he holds the sun. My best asking falls immeasurably short of my father's ability to give, which is far beyond what we could ever ask. John Henry Jowett All the rivers of your grace I claim, over every promise write my name. Ephesians 1, 8, and 19. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.